Aishamai Sitdahi Krisoi Chris Dui. What's crack here, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and fighting fantasy fanatics. Today, we've got something a little bit different. It is uh, it's going to be a showcase of my current collection of books, of my Wizards edition uh, collection, I suppose, where I just show you what I've got. And this is the thing, ladies and gentlemen, although my DSLR can shoot video, my laptop doesn't have a port for an SD card, and if it does, it's probably gonna, I'm probably gonna find it after recording this video and uploading it. So let's just say it doesn't. And, yeah, I haven't got an adapter. And I even started off filming with my camera, and guess what? I uh, had no means of transferring the files to my laptop. So... What we've got today is a showcase, uh, a little, what's the word, a slideshow, where I'm going to show you what I've got, maybe talk about it, show you what I've got, talk about it. It's uh, it's not the best, but it is a compromise, and so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. It's, uh, it's a little bit different. Um, hopefully it's going to appeal to some nerds out there, because yeah, I guess I'm a nerd as well now. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's get into the video. So, books one to five. We have The Warlock of Firetop Mountain, The Citadel of Chaos, Death Trap Dungeon, The Creature of Havoc, and City of Thieves. Now, these uh, these books, these books, um, they're all mostly second hand. I think all of these books are second hand. Actually, I got them all off eBay. I got them all off eBay. I have had the I have had Death Trap Dungeon and the Creature of Havoc. I bought them when I was younger. Then I've lost them, so I've had to buy new ones. And the thing about the Warlock of Firetop Mountain, would you believe? I almost bought three copies of this book because I wanted to do a video. This was my first video. It is planned to be my first video of uh, the series, and the uh, the Wizards Edition got delayed. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have to buy another edition. So I bought an older edition because then I just wanted to read through the book so I could talk about it. And they sent me an older edition. They sent me the wrong edition. It's an older one than what I wanted, but I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. But yeah, they sent me an older edition, and then the other one, the Wizards one, came like on the day where I was meant to upload the video. So yeah, it is what it is. And there's nothing really remarkable about the other four books. Citadel of Chaos was, um, I did plan on buying the older cover on an older edition purely because I like the cover. I like the little black monkey thing. I find, I find that really funny. Then Creature of Havoc, the wizard cover is the only one I really like. Death Rat Dungeon, same thing again. And City of Thieves, yeah, I did consider buying an older cover, an older edition for the cover, but at the end of the day, you know, if you got one, why would you need any other? So... That about sums it up for the first five uh, books, ladies and gents. You know, some of the books have... Uh, I'm guessing some of these books have people's writing in the character sheets. I know Death Trap Dungeon does. I'm guessing, 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 guessing. The Warlock Firetop Mountain. Because my copy has been battered, my goodness. It has been in somebody's backpack. And it's cute and it has a lot of charm. But it is what it is, I suppose. I'm not going to... I don't think I'm going to look for a better... I mean, if one comes my way, I'll probably get a better quality one. But that is about it, guys. So, that is uh, the first five books of, uh, of the series. So, on to the next five. So, we have Crypt of the Sorcerer, House of Hell, and Forest of Doom, Sorcery, the Shamatanti Hills, and then Caverns of the Snow Witch in this knot. And what you're going to find out is, um, yeah, they're all Wizards Edition again. The Crypt of the Sorcerer came, and I'm guessing it is a, an old library edition because it has like a plastic sleeve on it. Maybe it's from a school. Either way, it kept the book in a nice quality, and there's nothing really, uh, nothing stands out about this book. Nobody's written in the adventure sheet. It's all pretty good. It's all pretty good. But now we have the House of Hell. Now the House of Hell is a book that I've had for years. The cover was scuffed, presumably before I had it. And yeah, because it's mine, I have written in the adventure sheet. This is just as it is. It's your bog standard fighting fantasy book. The quality on the cover summarizes the quality of the cover. The inside is pretty nice, but uh, yeah, that's about it. The writing, as you can tell, isn't uh, shiny. Um, but at the end of the day, I am collecting these purely because they're wizard editions. I don't really mind if the writing's shiny. But then, what we've got next is the Forest of Doom. This is another one. I had this one as younger. 
but I lost it, so I've rebought it. And honestly, this cover, this book is actually in fantastic quality. It arrived, and it looked like it was like sitting on the shelf of like an old bookshop that had been abandoned. And when I got yeah, flick through it, the spine's not even broken. It's a really good quality book, to be honest. And this is the thing. I think it's um, Music Magpie off eBay. That's why I get a lot of these books. Because, yeah, they deliver. I think eBay's getting the delivery days wrong. But, yeah, the books are always really good quality off them. I didn't buy, what's it called, Warlock of Firetop Mountain from them. And the Warlock of Firetop Mountain is generally just a battered book. But, yeah, so then the next book is The Shamatanti Hills. This is another one that I had when I was younger. The one I had when I was younger had the uh, shiny writing. So that's like the only downside is that well, this one doesn't. But this book again, it's barely been touched. This looks like it's just been sat on the bookshelf in a shop maybe. And that, I don't know, maybe they've liquidated the stock and then it went on eBay and I bought it. So yeah, this book sits happily on my shelf. And they are all in order. I do care for my shelf. It's just that I've got so many knickknacks on there. Half of them are just stuff that I've had on dates or off the misses. So yeah, The Shamatanti Hills, sat there safe and sound. It's a fantastic book. The book itself, uh, once again, the spine's not broken on nothing. None of these books have been battered. Maybe bar what? Or like a firetop mountain. And then Citadel of Chaos. So the next one is The Caverns of the Snow Witch. Now The Caverns of the Snow Witch, probably my all-time favourite right now. And it's my favourite for sentimental reasons. I'm not going to say it's my favourite because of the right then. Caverns of the Snow Witch. So I got the Wizards Edition again. This one hasn't got shiny writing, but because this is the first one I had, and this is the first video I made on, like the first video I made was on this book. I went and bought the Scholastic version and an old Puffin version. Version. So I got three editions of this book. The Scholastic version. I'm gonna be honest. Holding the cover in my hand is really nice. The Scholastic version looks nice, and it looks nice on my shelf, to be honest. It's just the art is pretty bad. I don't like the digitalized art. And then you got the Puffin version where I like the art. It's sort of goofy, wacky, it's fantasy. But yeah, I thought, but I, I don't like reading the old, old books because I don't want to break them because then you break them and then they're gone. So yeah, that is it for that bunch of videos. So now I suppose we're on to the next five. And the next five, it's just going to be spoilers, really, because these are books that I've got that I haven't talked about yet. Um, and they're more or less in order. You got 11, 12, I need to get 13, we got 14, and then I need to get 15. So it is what it is. Um, I'm massively jumping the gun. This is going to be spoilerific. But yeah, we got the second sorcery book, uh, Care City Port of Traps. No, I love this copy. This copy, I was so happy to get this one, man. You have no idea. You have no idea how happy I was to get this one because the thing is I ordered this copy and I didn't get gouged I did not get gouged it's uh it's, it's 10 pounds yeah I paid the price that I would have probably paid to get the book uh brand new in person but I don't mind I do not mind because it's got the shiny right then it's uh I want to say like limited edition I don't know I don't really care but it's such a lovely book the cover is just Nurgle and if you know anything about me I like Nurgle in uh, 40k. It's, it's uh, a bit different in Age of Sigma, but I like it in 40k. But yeah, this book, Untouched, came in like pristine condition. It's got the silver right then. I didn't get gouged. And yeah, I can't like begin to explain how chuffed I am to get Care City Port of Traps. Probably one of my favourite books on my shelf. I don't want to say that right now because I haven't read it. But it looks, it's just such a cool cover. And it's got shiny right then. So let's go on to number 12. And we have Trial of Champions. Now this book is one of the ones I had when I was younger. And I've just kept it. I kept it safe. There's honestly not a whole lot to say about this book. I've, uh, it's old. That's all I can say. But all of them are. Because uh, the Wizards editions now are quite old. But yeah, Trial of Champions. I had this when I was younger. About maybe like, what, 14 years ago. And I've just kept it safe. So, yeah, it's in my collection. It's one of the ones that I do quite like. I love the artwork, to be honest. It's quite creepy. It's quite... Um, it reminds me of Bloodborne a little bit. Maybe it's Bloodborne or Dark Souls. I think it's Dark Souls, actually, with those warthogs, the giant armoured pigs. And there's one that comes at you in this really tight alleyway. It is Dark Souls. Can't remember if it's three or two. I like that. It just reminds me of that. I love it. But... You know, we we got to talk about uh, the next book. And now the next book is The Armies of Death. 
And um, this one, yeah, I haven't read this one. I'm actually really hyped, though, to read this one. It looks quite good. And this is the thing. Because I haven't read it. Obviously, I haven't read it. But it uh, it does actually look really good. It's uh, You have an army. It follows the uh, trial champions. You spend your money on an army. And then you have to work out army combat. The book sounds really good. It's just I haven't read it yet. Um, I bought this one thinking it was number 11. But it's not. It's like number 14 or something silly like that. So it is what it is. It is what it is. But uh, yeah. That's it for Armies of Death. Now it's worth a mention that because these books, um, a lot of these books now are part of my original collection, so I haven't actually padded them out because I get a lot of books second hand from eBay, and then I just use them to pad out my uh, my collection as I make my videos. So what I did at the start, I'd get like maybe books one to three at once, so I could work through them all. And then whilst I was reading book number two, well, well, the morning after I finished book number two, I'd buy books four to seven. So then I'd constantly have a stream of books coming in. So then by the time I've read through them, I've got another three arriving. If that makes any sort of sense, this is how I've been doing the Fighting Fantasy videos so far. So what you're going to see is, yeah, these books are not in order whatsoever anymore. So Armies of Death, I think I skipped one. And then we got Temple of Terror. Now Temple of Terror, one of my OGs, because I remember reading back at school. Now if uh, if you're anything like me, back at school, I'll say anything like me. If uh, school hasn't changed and it's the same everywhere, once you re uh, reached a certain reading level, you were able to bring your own books in, and then you'd read those books. So we'd have to read in front of a teacher, and this is what I do. I'd read, I'd bring this book in because it was a game book, and you could just read it. And the teacher was like, "Yeah, well, you are reading a book." Um, so yeah, I used to bring Temple of Terror into school. Now I love this book. It is one of my favourites. It is just one of the ones I have fond memories of. Because um, I remember reading it, falling asleep, and then finishing off. It's, it's just one of those books I really liked growing up. Uh, the cover honestly creeped me out a lot. But yeah, Temple of Terror. I love this one. It's one of the ones I always want to keep as part of my collection. It's going to stay as part of my collection anyway. I'm going to have to pad it out. But it's gonna. it's not leaving my collection Temple of Terror, I've got fond memories of this one. I haven't read it in a few years. I've read it multiple times, just not any time recent. You know, the cover, spoilers, I'm, I prefer this cover to the Puffin edition. But, you know, let's move on to uh, Starship Traveller. Another one that I've had for years upon years. It hasn't left my collection. And I don't want it to leave my collection. In all honesty, I really enjoy this book. And, uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot else to say about it, you know. I can't remember reading it. I can't remember what it's like. Um, I do remember vaguely that this is one of the ones that I just generally lose patience with. And I, I'm just not interested into it, like, the sci-fi setting. But, yeah, you know, uh, when that video comes across, it's probably going to come up. And, um, it is what it is, I suppose. Like I said, you know, it is a Wizards edition. All of these are Wizards edition. Don't, uh... Don't expect anything special to come up. But yeah. So that's uh, that set of five bucks. On to the next ones I suppose. So starting this one off. We've got The Talisman of Death. Now this is shiny writing. I've had this for years upon years. This is a book that I actually really enjoyed. And when, uh, when I was. Uh, well maybe like a year or two ago. No last year. Sometime last year. When I started writing. This was very influential. In what I wrote. And I didn't write much. I didn't get anywhere. But, you know, at the back of my mind, I'd always have, you know, I think this is set in the world of Orb and the little city that you spend. I spent a lot of time in the city. I can't remember if you're meant to. But, you know, I used to envision that city being part of my book. Um, I haven't written it. I've sort of scrapped it. I'm writing something else at the moment. Um, I'm on chapter, what, three? Hopefully I'm going to smash out a few more chapters because <laughs> chapter three honestly isn't far. But, yeah, you know, Tasman of Death. Really like this book. I have fond memories of reading it. Um, it's honestly in all right condition. You know, it could do with like you know, it could be bad, it could be worse. It's not mangled, and the spine is in good shape. So, I'm happy to have it. I'm happy to have it. And then we got blood bones, blood bones. See, the thing with blood bones is, uh, originally I did have a shiny writing copy from when I was younger, and then I lost it. And I don't know where these books are. They're in my room somewhere. They just must be on like fallen behind like a cupboard. Or something, or just at the bottom of a closet, and I just haven't found them yet. 
they could be up in the air. So they could be anywhere, to be honest. But Blood Bones is one of them books I always enjoyed because it's a ghost pirate and it's cool and it's amazing and the cover's really creepy and the story's great. It's just one of them books that I love. But yeah, this is uh, this is uh, in its twenties now. This book is these aren't in order. You know, don't uh, don't keep uh, thinking all oh, these books aren't in order. What's this guy doing? Like I said, you know, my collection, it goes up as far as to book number 10 and then it starts weaning out. You know, I've got a lot of gaps now. This one is, uh, has a lot of gaps in it too. But then we got the next book. The next book is Howl of the Werewolf. Now this was an absolute nightmare to get. This was an absolute pain to get. Because either that you got like two people buying up all the copies to sell at a gouged price or it's just a rare, I don't know. But I got Howl of the Werewolf. Um, it cost me. It, it honestly, it wasn't like a lot, but it cost me more than I ever want to spend on a book. If that makes sense. Um, I haven't read it. I'm not going to read it until the video comes across because I just don't want to risk ruining it, and I don't want to risk finding out that the pages are blank and I've been scammed. It is what it is. I like werewolves, though. I am excited to read it. It's one of those ones that I wish I picked up when I was younger because I could have picked it up when I was younger for, like, a reasonable price. But it was always a case of, oh, which one do I fancy off eBay? And then I'd just get, like, whatever. So, yeah, how about werewolf? There's not a whole lot to say. I like it. It looks a bit bloodborne -y. I'm looking forward to reading it, to be honest. Um, I'm happy that I've got a shiny right then. You know, for the price I paid, I should have had it anyway. <laughs> you know, get me? But, yeah. So, that's really it for, like, the books in the series, I suppose. Because uh, the next book is, and uh, I'm not really sure what this book is. It's just sort of like a spin-off, I think. It's like an encyclopedia of the monsters in fighting fantasy. And I think this is really cool. I thought this was amazing because I'm actually quite interested in playing D&D. &D. And then when I got saw this, I, I was flicking through eBay. I was like, oh my days, that looks really cool. That looks awesome. Because I looked it up on like uh, the fighting fantasy wiki, right? And the wiki was like, yeah, so this is an encyclopedia of all the monsters. Like, all oh, my days. All oh, my days, i got to get this. And I slammed down a bit while I didn't buy it. I just bought it now. I bought it, and I was just rubbing my hands, thinking, oh, I cannot wait. How did I get this book? And, yeah, it's an encyclopedia of all the monsters. Not all of the monsters. That's the only thing. I think it must have it must have a cut-off point, And it must be about the original Puffin books. Because um, and when it says monsters, it is literally monsters. Like, Balthus Dyer. And I don't think uh, Zargo's in it. You know, the uh, the big bad guys from the books aren't in there. But yeah, you know, you got the Hammer K in there. I just flicked to a random page to like, show you what this is. And yeah, it's just an encyclopedia. It's got a picture. It tells you how many you encounter. It's got the skill, stamina, hammer hat, reaction, intelligence, all that cool stuff. It, it gives you a bit of backstory. This is just a really interesting book. Like, And I haven't actually sat down to read it, but like my days it's so cool yeah the car it's a, it's battered it's an old copy but yeah you know you got the calf and i don't know what the calf is it says but yeah you know it's the it's just like a monster looking thing but it's really cool i really like it the serpent well, what's it say warrior i don't know because uh i just took a picture and then put it away i am going to show you the back of the book you know, yeah, the book is battered. This book has seen better days. It's it looks like maybe somebody found it in like a cardboard box in their attic and thought, well, I don't want this, so I'm gonna see if anyone else does. And I was that somebody else, and I honestly can't be happier to have this book. My goodness, I don't know if this book is like rare. I don't know if maybe it's just not valuable, but I'm I thoroughly enjoy it. You know, because um, I don't know if you know this, I do paint miniatures, and I could pro you could probably get like D and D. Um, well, not D&D. &D. You probably get miniatures for that could represent the monsters in this book from, like, maybe Reaper. And then paint them up. And then all you have then is a fighting fantasy D&D &D campaign. How cool would that be? Like, that, that's just really interesting. I don't know. I'm just a massive nerd when it comes down to tabletop gaming. You know, I have my days. My, my Instagram page. Purely miniature painting and a bit of books and then stuff from when I was younger. My Instagram is uh, Chris since ninety four, all one word. But yeah, you'll see it there. But yeah, that's about it for my collection, guys and girls. It's not extravagant. There's not a whole lot on there. You know, I'm not gonna say I'm like a master collector. I am going. I'm collecting as I go. You know, I'm getting bucks as I go, and then it takes them a week to get here. But when I get here, it's like oh, excited. 
because I do enjoy these books and I, I do actually quite like collecting them. I quite like padding out a collection that I wanted when I was a child, you know. It's nice to be able to go back and sort of finish off the side quests, so to speak. Because the books, they're not expensive. I'm not, like, getting ripped off. I'm not, they're not extortionate. Because that's the thing, you know, if they're, like, £100 per book, I probably would have nipped it in the butt, like, ages ago. I probably wouldn't have started the collection. But, yeah, when it's, like, £5 to £10, that's, what, a few drinks down the pub? And then you've got something that you can read multiple times. You can use it as an influence in your writing. Well, that's why I do. See, that's the thing, because I do write. I tend to use a lot of influences. So, yeah, you know, I get a lot of value out of these books for what they are. Um, but, yeah, that's my collection, boys and girls. So, I only really collect the Wizards editions. You know, if I've collected older editions or Scholastic editions, it's... Well, I haven't really collected Scholastic editions. I've got older editions out of necessity. Outside of, you know, Caverns of the Snow Witch. Because that was going to be a whole... See, the thing with Caverns of the Snow Witch, I think I've touched on this before. I'd get all three books. Like, I'd get a Puffin edition, a Wizard edition, and then a Scholastic edition. And just, like, compare them for, like, any different spellings. Like, I'm talking about nerdy stuff that nobody would have time to do. So, I guess I am glad that I didn't do that. Because that would have been massively time-consuming. And I probably wouldn't have time to put out a video per week. Because that's the thing, when you're reading these books, sometimes you can read them in one sitting. And that's the thing, because I devour literature, I usually can read them in one sitting, if not two, you know? So yeah, that's it. Like These books are just amazing. Hopefully, you've liked having a look into my collection. Obviously, I'm going to have to pad out the second half. After book 10, there are a lot of gaps. And then maybe, just maybe, I'll do an update uh, once I get to book 20. I don't know if I will, to be honest, because I'm probably not going to collect any, like, Wizards, uh, no, not Wizards, Puffin editions or, uh, Sch uh yeah, Scholastic editions. Pro not much is going to change, because that's the thing, guys and girls. I collect the books, but I don't collect the merchandise, because I know there's, like, miniatures for all the different monsters. So I know the Shape Changer has a miniature. And, yeah, if I had one, I would paint it, and I would paint it really well. But, you know, it's one of those things. I just like the books. I really like the books. Um, my collection isn't really going to be much more than books, you know? I've got, like, spin-offs, like the encyclopedia thing. If I see something, like, interesting like that on eBay, like, cheap, that isn't, like, they're not gouging you, then, yeah, I will buy it. But other than that, ladies and gents, that's really it. My collection doesn't really go much further than the books. And then, obviously, I've got the Warlock of Firetop Mountain game. I forgot about the game. I've got the game. So yeah, that's about it, guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed looking at what I've got. You know, I think next week I am going to go back to going through the books. So I got the City Port of Care, or Care, the City Port. I don't know what it's called. No, Care, the City Port of Traps. I'm hoping to go through that book um, next week. Uh, and then just resume normality, go from like 11 to 20 then. I don't know what books I'm in, what books I have to look forward to. Uh, that's, uh, I suppose that's the exciting thing because I completely forgot about the Creature of Havoc and I really didn't enjoy that book. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. So next week, hopefully we're going back to normal and then we'll see what happens, you know? So yeah, that's about it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video because I've never done anything like this. I've never done like a slideshow. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say, guys. So, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully you're going to be here next week. If you've liked the video, if you have any, like, genuinely constructive criticism, feel free to leave it, because, my goodness, you know, I am going to have to do, like, a video. Once I get, like, an SD card uh, adapter or whatever the thing is, yeah, I'll probably record it and, like, do another one for, like, once I get to the 20th book. But, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed I'm going to say thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, what's the other thing that everybody else bangs on about? Uh, hit the hit the notification button. Because, yeah, I upload, what, well, twice a week now with the, uh, the Horrors Call box. Twice a week. So, yeah, just remember Thursdays. About it. Yeah, thanks for coming. I hope, hopefully, you'll have a really, really nice day. Hopefully, you have a really nice week. Hopefully, you have an amazing life. So, without further ado, take care.